All right, bye, Carnival Glory. Bye, have fun on your next trip, everybody. It was a blast. Hi, Matt here. I'm Stacy, and this little guy is our buddy Tarzan. Together, we are the Rays on the Road. Oh, and look what we found here. The coin from the coin ceremony on the glory. Wow, awesome. And they've updated it with the new picture of the new livery. Carnival Glory inaugural coin, uh, Monfalcone, Italy, June 27, 2003. 21, over 21-year-old 21 ship. Blue iguana. Taco bar. We all was going out that way and everybody was coming in. And Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna punch you off here and grab me a burrito. Okay, so behind the scenes bonus footage of the water park mechanicals. In case you ever wondered what that looked like. Yeah, he has somebody else. Cool. Cabin with a balcony looks like. Pretty cool. Probably have good views. And then this is one of these oddly shaped cabins. Has a bunk bed and half a bed. It's long ways. Interior view. This is one we almost booked on another cruise on another ship. It's an oddly shaped room. It's like a triangle. You get a window and your bed's just kind of like off to the side. It's a little more roomy, I think, than the one that we got. All right, I gotta get to packing, guys. I just didn't know if we had to do it too. All right, bye, Carnival Glory. Look out at your next sale. Bye, have fun on your next trip, everybody. It was a blast. Bye bye buddy. Heart. Room. Man, it looks freshly painted. I bet that's what that smell was. And it's over. We're off the boat. And down there's deck zero, which is mostly crew. Gangway and they're filming or it looks like they're fueling it up. Yeah. And they're no, that's they're pumping out grease. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Barrels of something. I bet that's like cooking oil or something. Cool. Green or blue barrels, black barrels. When I was up there, I saw like trucks load coming in, so I guess they're loading up food. But that might be poop. Yeah. That's poop. Maybe. We don't know. What's it say? Environmental on? services? Cliff Bear Environmental Services? Huh, that could be either one. Is it dangerous cargo? Looks like they're doing some repair work on somebody's window. Me too, if they have that on the next uh, cruise that we take. Yeah, we're doing like, that the next part. Look, there's a of beer. Wow. Fascinating. Yeah, just the amount of food. Paper. They use two ply. It's a little bit better than your standard issue. Yeah, it was pretty good toilet paper. Way better than the toilet paper we buy at the house. 
weekend, we're back on solid ground. No stopping on the gangway, she says. But she didn't tell us how slow we could go. Well, that's it, guys. I'm going to turn this off as we go through security. So I don't think this is security yet. Uh, it's like a ramp. Different from the place where we came in at. Guess this is where you pick up your baggage if you checked it and let them take it to the ship or off the ship. So there's where you would pick up your bags. You have two options. You can either put a tag on it and let them carry it off the ship for you and you pick it up there. Or they call it express. You just take it off yourself. Uh, I was kind of wanting them to take it off. These bags are so heavy, but uh, if we did that, we might not have got off the ship until 10 o'clock. So we're trying to get off a little bit early so we can go and hang out at... Uh, I got it in the port. I'm about to punch off of here. Wow, so that's where we you come in, you drop them off there, and then on the other side, here is the elevator line, which is crazy. There's an even bigger line back there coming it's out. Hot. It's hot and sweaty, and we keep getting yelled at by people working here not to stop. It's a very unpleasant experience. Yeah. Well, we're out of security. We're up the elevator line. We're almost to Stacy's car. And one last look at the Carnival Glory. Carnival glory and all of her glory. Did you say you found the key? It's in the front of my backpack. Okay. Here's a look at all the craziness. And then I look at the sunrise and ready for the next group to come by and enjoy her in paradise. Okay, so we just got off de embarked. Is it debark or de embark? Or disembark. Disembark. The app says debark, but that sounds wrong, but I don't know. So we just debark, disembark, deembark from the Carnival Glory from a four day, no, five day, four night cruise to Nassau and Princess K. Key, K, Key. There's a lot of, I don't know. Um, so let's start overall, Matt. What are your thoughts on the experience just in general? I thought overall it was an enjoyable experience. Um, I just, you know, this has been my first cruise as an adult. Um, there are things I probably would do differently. Uh, so, but I mean, overall, I had an enjoyable experience. I, I, I'm eagerly awaiting the final bill. Apparently, like a lot of things are added costs. So once I figure all that out, I tried yeah. to figure it out, but somehow like now they've hidden like the original cost of the trip from the app once it, you get on the cruise. Yeah, I felt like um, I was very confused on the gratuity. The prepaid gratuity we didn't do because we thought we would tip people. As we went. Which we have done. 
But then we realized, then we got a bill for another gratuity. So we tip so we the did double at least. These double people gratuity. think we're cash money millionaires, but we ain't. No. So we double tipped everybody. Yeah. But that's fine. These that's. I still don't understand. Why would you prepay it if you're just going to have to pay it on the boat anyway? What? Maybe some does it people matter? just don't pay any gratuity. Every time they sign that slip, there's people putting zeros. But I just couldn't do that. Could you? Well, the guy at the thing said he did that, but he pays the prepaid gratuities, which we didn't do because we were going to base it upon uh, the level of service. Because if somebody's doing a really good job and somebody's not, why is it fair for the people who aren't working hard to get right? And the their prepaid share gratuities eighteen percent. And if somebody does really good service to us, we give way more than that. So I think it was like seventy dollars for each, so one hundred and forty for four nights, five days. And who it's does like that by go the day. to? I think it's just they said it's just like a big pool, and they, it's divided up amongst everyone on the ship, all the employees. I don't See, that's not fair because some of them deserve more. Right, we had you know great service Kit, from some Kit, Patricia. The guy at the steakhouse, the manager, he's Sir great. Raj, the manager at the steakhouse. The magician, house. the chef at the chef's table. Yeah. Uh, there were some people that were just like, some the the one server at the chef's table, the lady that like helped walked us in and stuff, I can't remember what her name was. She was incredible. Mm-hmm. But then some of the servers there, like one of them spilled mushroom soup on me, which I don't care. I would still tip someone for that. But that girl, I would give her a larger tip. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just, I don't know. I don't think that's very fair. And I, or I don't understand it. I need to research it more. But I would say overall, I had a really good time. Mm -hmm. But I would do a lot of things differently. So I guess that's cruising in general. Then like let's move to the next step, Carnival, the brand. Um, what do we think about that? So my first thoughts on Carnival, the brand, like I loved it. Uh, that was the one that I did as a kid. Uh, the inside of the ships, this like outlandish design, this like high Vegas, you know, yeah. fantasy type crap inside of them, the neon and all that. I love all that. I think that's Me the too. coolest stuff. It's just like you escape reality. Um, and like the theme, like everything has the themes. Now, like new age design, they would say that's cheesy, but I think it's cool. But so, like, that's why. I, I've been really excited to do this carnival brand. That's why we selected this as first for Stacy to be her first. And in addition to that, an older ship in their line so that we could get uh, more of that Joe Farkas architecture. Because the ship that Matt originally cruised on has been sunk or whatever. Well, it was scrapped after COVID. And so we wanted to do that. So mine will be the first ship as his, but we couldn't. But this ship is very close. Mm -hmm. to the ship that he's selling on. So that's why we chose. It's designed by the same guy, Joe Farkas. He's the guy that developed the whale tail and all of this crazy interior. That Basically, is the guy that made cruising what it is. Well, certainly make Carnival what they are because prior to him, Carnival was known as like the old people ship, like stuffy, you know, nobody went on it. He turned it in, you know, developed the whale tail, made it fun, basically created the fun ship, quote unquote. So Carnival still says they're the fun ship. I, I guess I would say that that's true. I mean, there is a lot of partying on this ship. Like there were a lot of drunk people. There were a lot of people who were using uh, substances. Right, that may or may not be legal uh, wherever, they're wherever they're from. We don't know. But they're definitely not supposed to be on board. And I find that, look, I'm not, you do what you want to do. If you want to use whatever substances in whatever manner you want to do it, go for it. But if you're going to partake in a substance that smells like a skunk, please don't do that in your stateroom where you stink up the entire hallway. Or when I was doing tours, of the ship i would walk out to some decks and people would just be doing it in non-smoking areas just yeah. out in the open that and very frustrating to me because that makes that space unusable number one for all the children that are on board the children don't need to be around that right. and b for people that don't want to be around that well so like i mean carnival if you are uncomfortable with that and i'm uncomfortable with that 
this is probably not the cruise for you the first night i was ready to just get off of the boat it was so overwhelming it's yes. just like well, i don't forget what cheech and chong movie maybe all of them it was our i watched where they yes. open the door and just like clouds just roll out the first day when we first got on the ship I, there was a moment where I was like, let's just walk back off. Because when you get on the ship, they tell you, go up to the Lido deck. And the chaos was indescribable. And the amount of rude people was indescribable. So that's what I want to say. I have met some very, very, very nice people on this ship. Every time Matt would walk off, I would, he would come back and I had made a new friend. But I also encountered some of the rudest, and I was talking to a lady and her um, boyfriend yesterday. He was a military, active duty military. She was from Mississippi. Bitch, um, by the way, uh, Carnival gives a discount yeah. to active military. And um, he, she said it best. There's so many people on the ship that act like they have no home training. Like it was the first time they went out in public and they had no idea how to act. You're trying to get off the elevator and as soon as it opens, there's a gang of people trying to push you back in. It's like we have to get off the elevator for you to get on the elevator. Just, or just like stand right in front of the door and not move to where you like, can't get out. You have to like go. And you have to like to throw elbows a lot yeah. and stuff. It's like the craziest thing I've ever experienced. So aggressive, you'll be or you'll be standing in line, and there's lines for everything, and somebody will just walk and get in front of you like you're invisible. Yeah. So I mean, but that's the people on here. I'm not sure that's yeah. unique to Carnival. When we take another cruise, maybe we'll be able to voice more opinion about that. Or maybe it's unique to these shorter cruises. But of course, this wasn't really a shorter cruise. It's no, technically it's a five day, five but day. but technically four because I don't know why they count the home port days as a day because you just get here. today we had no really no access to the ship. You have to be out of everything by eight thirty in the morning. Yeah, you have to leave your room by eight thirty. So I don't know why they count this, but whatever. Um, pluses of Carnival, I would say that the uh, included dining is great. The guys' burgers is good. I mean, it's not. I'm disappointed in it, but that's a side note. I was probably expecting too much, but it's free and it's good for a free or included meal. Yeah. The barbecue place was decent. That's included. Um, the Good. New York Deli or the Carnival Deli that was included and that was really good. Was it good? Yeah, the the Pizza Pirate was shocking how good Incredible. it was. I would not think anything called a Pizza Pirate would be any that good. That Quattro Formaggio pizza is some of the best pizza I've ever had in my life. And y'all watch our channel. If you watch our channel, you know we get pizza a lot of places. That's some of the best pizza I have ever had in my life. I could eat that every day. I think I probably eat it three or four times on this cruise. That well, same pizza. Every pizza I tried, and I tried the Quattro Formaggio, the pepperoni, and the prosciutto, and I thought all of them were good. Uh, and the crust is what makes them. Yeah. The crust is fantastic. It's great. Uh, it's incredible pizza. But that's so incredible. from what I understand, that's an old concept that's not on the newer ships. What? Yeah, that's only on the older ships is Pizza Pirate. So if we do well, Carnival again in a new ship, maybe we'll review that. I don't know. Um, what else am I leaving out? Blue Iguana. Blue uh, it was incredible. great. Great for breakfast, great for lunch, great for dinner. Yeah. Um, it, to me, because I didn't have the deli, but the Blue Iguana is the best restaurant on the ship, but it has limited hours. It should be open morning, like morning to night, but it closes at four or five, depending on the day. But it really should be open through dinner because it is so good. So good. Didn't you think? Yeah, it was good, but that brings me to the next point. Well, I'm going to finish out the positive. So, entertainment, we thought, uh, we watched a lot of things on Carnival and various cruise brands, and the consensus out there, and I guess the cruise blogging industry, is that Carnival's entertainment sucks. We did not find that to be the case, no. except for one area, and that's what most car uh, cruise bloggers say is Carnival's best, is the comedy was awful. Like, yeah. I didn't laugh one time. These guys were so unfunny. And I think what it is has to do with our first point about skunk smelling substances. Yeah. And that, uh, you have to be like that be to under the influence of that to find it funny. Like one routine this guy did, he would say like, "Oh, how many people's from Iowa?" 
and then nobody would answer and he would go like good and people would just die laughing like what was the punchline yeah i did not the comedy did not i we sat through the whole long it was a long thing i don't think i laughed and i wasn't being like sour i was having a nice time chit-chatting and stuff but not a single one of the jokes made me laugh and i love stand-up comedy matt can tell you i that's all i listen to almost in the car is podcasts of different stand-up comedians it's one of my favorite things and so i was excited about the comedy but it was yeah we heard so many good things like another one that he did he set up for like 15 minutes and i'm not not exaggerating at all a 15 minute routine going through all of the generations of people Isn't from it? from yeah. what is it gen what's the, the newest one alpha alpha is the newest one is that the newest yeah. one and then he went all the way back to like the greatest generation the silent generation and then just the joke was what it was just something stupid like gen alpha can't do anything without a phone yeah, it was like something, I don't even think it was that it funny. Was it was like, something like, well, you know what? Uh, in the 70s, my mom bought a turkey and thought it was me or something. Yeah, and it was like, when he said the punchline part, I was like, wait, still waiting for the punch. I don't know. And we're not going to say his name because maybe he just had a bad night. That's something in listening to comedians. Sometimes they bomb. But other people were laughing at that. Maybe it's just a taste thing. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't to our taste. But we didn't enjoy it. I will it. say, the shows, which people, the reviews I've seen, people have not done, give them very well reviewed, they were great. Mm -hmm. The ro epic rock show was awesome. I really, they were incredibly talented. Now, it may not have had the as high of the um, extravagant production, but they were swinging on ropes and climbing and going all over the place. It was really good. Just, and the actual cast was very talented. The, um, cruise director and the assistant cruise director i think rico and edgar they were funnier than the comedian by a hundred times mm -hmm. i went to bingo matt came into part of that i went to the q a with rico and edgar i laughed so hard my face was hurting like you know when you smile too much i laughed so hard during that my face was hurting just sitting there by myself dying laughing they were hilarious and then i played bingo matt came in the end of the bingo the bingo was so fun wasn't they like cracked mm -hmm. jokes and did stuff it was incredible and then we went to the love and marriage show hysterical yeah it was one of the funniest things yeah we laughed our guts out. i mean just belly laughing chuckling the whole time during that and so i have to give really big shout out to rico and edgar they were very very nice very funny and they did a great job as cruise director i think he said edgar maybe is going to become a cruise director soon so he may have his own ship soon but they were hilarious he needs it he, he was did a really good job and he they they like must have i don't know they like really got to know the passengers because edgar then um at one point said oh mrs ray to me like he knew who i was hmm. Yeah, so they really like pay attention to the passengers, the people in the main dining room. So nice, they knew they may see, they knew your names on top of it. We had an excellent server there. So yeah, I mean, this they were great, but the other entertainment, no. So yeah, overall, I will say that the uh, another plus is the employees. I don't know what kind of incentive structure they have, but these employees act as if they want to be your friend, and it's their uh, pleasure to make your trip the best trip it can be. You I've know, it's probably phony harder. as it's probably phony as crap but you know whatever incentives they've got going for that that's it really works i've never seen people working harder than i saw the crew on this ship have you ever been to a business or anything where people were working harder than they were yeah, probably not in louisville maybe it's somewhere else i don't know i just don't think i have i, I really don't and so and i talked to you all i talked to everybody you all can probably tell that I, um, one time I was sitting in the dining room, Matt was walking around filming. I started talking to a young man from Zimbabwe who was a 
have guests or food services staff and he was telling me all about his life on the ship and how he was so grateful for the job and he makes as much money in one month on carnival as he did in a hotel in six months in zimbabwe and that he loves it and that i so i think that's what it is it's like an opportunity for a lot of people that they wouldn't have otherwise gotten so i don't think it's some of it is a little over the top but i think they really do love their jobs and appreciate the opportunity they have most of them well they certainly act like it and so that's uh i don't know if that's unique to carnival mm -hmm. uh just talking to from people on here i think maybe it is that other uh, cruises are not uh the employees are not as friendly but i don't know we've not been on one no. uh, well, so that that's a good plus that's a, that's a big plus um the the cabin i thought was was more than adequate i loved it i like the setup of of it i like the layout um i it was bigger than i thought it was going to be my only negative that i will say about the cabin is the shower is a hazard it is so slick yeah it's really tough it this one really rocked a lot mm. so there um, needs to be like a safety permanent safety we put a towel down in the shower to shower is how slick it was but there needs to be a safety mat or some bars because it is like a slip and slide and when it's moving you're just a little and there's nothing really to hold on to i thought it was great you know for a cabin it was bigger yeah. bigger bigger than you need really there's lots of storage space uh the bathroom is more inadequate you see pictures and videos of this class of carnival ships and these these bathrooms look sick they're like the the green hospital tent or i don't know what it is but when you record them and put them on youtube they don't look good but in person yeah, they didn't look bad. It's the shower's kind of blue. The sinks, you know, a green color. I liked all the bright colors in the paintings and the pink trim in the room. Now it's dated, but I like that style. The mm -hmm. eight nineties, early two thousand style. I enjoyed it. So we missing anything? Oh, uh, along the same lines is the uh, employee positive. The security was awesome. Oh, so yeah. we talked about how unruly the first night was, and it uh, unruliness did continue throughout. But that first night was just like mayhem. Yeah. But they had the lockdown on it, and so um, they have people in jail locked in their room. Yeah, on just on our night. floor. So our floor was like very stinky with the skunk, and so at some point. I I think it's like 11 at night or something the security had uh this guy and he was just blowed away and like a head was posted outside his door so i guess he got put i never saw that guy ever again i guess yeah. they put him off the ship at the next port yeah I think so uh but you know they responded quickly Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, somebody vomited in the pool. I got some footage of it of them cleaning it up, you yeah. know. So they drained the pool and cleaned it. That was another continuing theme, along with all the partying going on, is that there was a lot of vomit. But then they would clean it, clean up, it up fairly fast. fast. Yeah. At the comedy show, the most beautiful young lady. She was all dressed up. She just tossed her cookies all over the place but the housekeeping staff they come blocked it off cleaned it up you wouldn't bring have even that, knew it would happen bring out that big red biohazard bucket and yeah sweep it and it's like it there. never happened so they do a good job handling it but i would have preferred not to have had that element right so we don't know like this i guess is that all the positives we can just move into the negatives maybe um yeah i think so so the negatives would be like the people on this ship and we don't know if that's specific to carnival or this ship or just like this is how it is on all cruise lines but there were a lot of really rude people there were a ton of inconsiderate and rude people there were a ton of just like wild party animals like for example the very first day when i said it was total chaos on the lido deck there's limited seating but we go up there and people have put their suitcases like two people would be sitting at a table that can, could hold five or six people and just have all their suitcases all over those sitting on those chairs so you couldn't sit down there was not even anywhere i just like what i've never seen something so inconsiderate as that that was shocking to me. it's just you know people running in the elevators we talked about that stuff like that shoving you out of the way unaccompanied just, minors oh yeah just random teenage, babies wandering around well and then there 
was like roving teenagers. Oh yeah, there were some wild gangs of teenagers. Which is fine. I understand. Like you're a teenager, you want to have fun and meet other people, but your parents should be checking in on you if you're screaming and yelling GDMF in the middle of the dining room. Mm -hmm. Where's your mom and dad? That's that's a question I had. But um, I also found it weird. There was like little children. I like mean, little babies, children just toddling in around. the casino, toddling around the bar, and and even to the point playing bingo. The cruise director was like making fun of people. Like, oh great, you brought your baby to gamble. That's so cool. Like being sarcastic. So it was just. That was weird to me because there's so many kids' activities that you could be taking your children to. There's the swimming pool, the slides, the club, the, you know, mm -hmm. there's just a lot of things. So I just, having your children sitting in a bar, I don't know. I thought that was strange. Um, but the um, that's my only negative is the other passengers, which is not Carnival's fault. That really is my biggest negative, the other passengers. And I don't know if that is a cruise culture, or if that is a carnival cruise culture, or if that is specific to this exact cruise that we went on. Yeah, I would kind of agree. The boat really rocked, but I don't know if that's normal. I guess as we take more cruises, we'll find out. Um, big negative, I thought, and I don't know if that's this ship or if that's just whatever it is in general now, is that there was a lot of lines everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, the first, uh, you know, whatever, everybody's going to the Lido buffet. They had all the buffets open and there were still just massive lines everywhere. But as the cruise went on, and I guess this was probably near capacity, it seemed. Yeah. Uh, most of the cabins were being cleaned when we were walking out. Uh, but there was just lines, and they wouldn't have like they would only have like one quarter of the buffet open, maybe half of the That's buffet true. open. Uh, and, and the closing of these restaurants, the other restaurants, they're only open for limited hours. That's a huge negative to me. And that created long lines when they were open. Just constant long lines for everything. You know, that one thing we made the reservation online and we go down to check in. They're like, okay, great, stand in. Yeah, they're like, okay, great, stand in line with everybody who doesn't have a reservation and just came down here to get a table. That's true. You're right. That's another negative for me, the waiting and the not having everything open if every restaurant and every buffet was open and then there was a line fine but there was like less than half of the stuff would be open and then people are lined all the way down the hallway they needed to open up more stuff definitely so that's a the two big negatives that fall on carnival and i don't know this isn't really carnival's fault but a lot of the people that work in this port are extremely rude and a lot of the people that worked on the tender boats were rude yeah um, it, you could definitely tell the line when you went from carnival staff to non-carnival staff like we got on the tender boat and I said, can I sit on the top, please? Because I didn't want to walk. Like everybody else was sitting on There was the other people sitting there. I thought it would have a better view. I wanted to look for sea turtles and dolphins in the water. And I also didn't want to walk down those wet, very steep stairs with they a line of people. Ladder. With a line of people behind me. That just makes me nervous. And so, because I have an injured knee. It made me nervous to do that with all those people. But so, the guy just screamed at me. When I said, can I please sit on the top? He literally screamed at me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so then I went down. But I didn't let it ruin my day. We went on and had fun. But I was like, it's very obvious as soon as you walk off the gangway onto the tender, this is a different level of staff. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing at the port. As soon as you walk off the gang, like you're leaving the ship and everybody's like, bye, we love you. You get on the gangway and they're like, Keep it moving. don't stop, I used move, to move, for one move. Second. And even like one guy, I was walking kind of slow so Stacy could catch up to me and he's just like, keep it moving. And then my, I have a giant suitcase that I travel with and the wheels got stuck in the like cobblestones and he screamed to me, you can't stop here. And I was like, 
Man, do you just look like I'm wanting to be stopped here? My suitcase is stuck. Obviously, I'm trying. The wheel is stuck, and I was, like, pulling it out. It wasn't even, like, one second that I was stuck before he started screaming, keep it moving. And I can understand you need to keep the flow of people moving. But then they're flowing you to just a big holding pen of people. It's not like the whole thing is smooth. Why did I have to rush to get to a holding pen where I stood and waited in 100% humidity for an elevator for 20 minutes? Yeah. So, so I guess that's all. Is that all the negatives we found the carnival? Uh, I keep looking. I'm now I'm looking to the left because the ship is over here on the left. Yeah. I think so I think that's. All oh, the, the buffet food quality oh, is awful. Yeah. It is the worst. The Skip buffet. the buffet. Go anywhere else in the buffet. No matter how long of a line you got to wait. What's the buffet this? always had a line too, so I don't really know what yeah. people are thinking. But I never had anything on that that was gross. The midnight buffet definitely skipped that. That made me awful. sick. It's garbage. It's just the food they have left throughout over, the day left to over. Feed the drinks. Uh, that ground up cake, like just all the cake desserts that they grind up and put in a bucket. I mean, that's so. They're just gross. trying to feed the drunk people with that. It is not the days of the grand midnight buffet. No, it is they're just trying to get the drunk people fed and in bed. I believe, and it's obvious. But don't go to Lido Buffet. It's the same food that they serve in the main dining room. Just go to the main dining room because it's way better. Because on one night, we went up to the Lido Buffet, sampled each thing, and then went down to the dining room and had the dining room version. It's like a totally different... Yeah, the main dining room version was better. I don't know. It's probably the same stuff, but somehow it's better. Um, but on the flip side, if you just want to know what you want to order at the main dining room and you have the menus on your app, mm -hmm. you can go and sample them on the Lido before, and then you figure out which one you want to order. Yeah, that's what we did. And there were some things like we thought we wanted, but we did didn't really end up liking them so we were glad we checked it out or if you're in a hurry because the main dining room also would have a long line at times yeah we did um time dining we didn't do the our time we did the late dining so we typically had to wait 10 15 minutes to get into the dining I guess room. it depends on when you got there and how long the, the line of people just waiting at the doors for it to open was yeah but uh, we had an excellent server in the main dining room. Yeah, Chit Chit was great. We left, I, not we, I left our very expensive photos, the Carnival Pixel photos, at the table. And she took them back and held them herself to make sure that we got them the next day. So, shout out, huge. I can't wait to do the survey about her. It's That was great service. Great service. Mm-hmm. Um... What did you think? Let's review the ports. What did you think about Nassau? I did not care for it. Um, I guess if you're looking for like a uh, like a, a nerfy area that's like contained and, and safe and just kind of like a shopping mall or an outlet mall, mm -hmm. that might be for you. I did venture into the town but it seemed like more of the same, just like dilapidated. Like the streets were in disrepair and everything was dirty if you went beyond the gate of the port. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really care for it. Uh, I mean... It, I didn't really even see it. I just got on the... I was very hot and thirsty by the time we got to the area. And I bought a drink, a non-alcoholic drink, that instantly made me feel terrible. Yeah, I mean, the port itself, the new one, it's great. Um, you know, plenty of space for the different ships. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it was cool seeing all the different ships, so that was a plus. And, like, if you're just looking for something clean and safe, just to go there and buy a magnet or something. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's great. But if you're just looking for something unique to try to, like, experience something that you're not uh, used to, I mean, it's basically just like an outlet mall or a strip mall. I wish right I would have done the swimming with pigs excursion. I have no desire to swim with pigs. I've watched videos on that, and they just poop all over you. That's what I've seen on videos, too, which is why I chose not to do it. But that girl that I met did it, and she showed me videos of it, of her doing it, and it looked fun. The only pigs I'm swimming with is the bacon in my belly. 
I wish I would have done that, maybe, but I don't know. You're probably right. I probably would have got pooped on. Yeah, you definitely would have got pooped on. Would have been funny, though. Um, Princess K, Key, what did you think of it? It's kind of like the opposite of the Nassau. Like, it's a beautiful island. I loved it. Uh, Princess, when they build it, I'm assuming they build it uh, before Carnival Bottom. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Uh, I wish I'd had more time. I would have, like, taken one of those cabs, and I showed you on the tour, like, that dirt road that takes you to the nearest town where you can eat uh, yeah. local crap, and there's videos of it online. Uh, I really liked it. It's clean, it's safe, but yet it's uh, unique and something different from your normal thing. However, it's a tender port, and uh, so our tender back to the ship was a great experience. The tender to the ship was not. It was a much smaller boat. Uh, the people drove really crazy and were, you know, like yeah. Stacy said, they were really rude to her. Uh, and it shook a lot like if you're seasick you're going to ralph on that tiny yeah boat. that was but i have to say i loved princess keys um k or key i don't know i loved it i thought that yeah the ride there was kind of scary um but we got i have to give shout out to they'll probably never see this but eecc travels where i saw the tip of as soon as you get off the tender go to the if you're facing the ocean go to the left side of the beach you have to go around the rope go down and cross walk up the stairs so it's not wheelchair accessible i saw i'm sorry walk up the stairs and back down these stairs over the little man-made canal to that side of the beach because there's hardly anyone there we had a shaded lounge chair in an area basically to ourselves most of the day. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. The big difference is, which I like to swim in the ocean, which I did do there, but if you like to swim in the ocean, that side of the water is much rougher because there's not as big of a, is it a berm they call that, where they build out with those rocks? Whatever that is, there's not as big of one of those, so the waves break a lot harder. You do need water shoes, which I had in my backpack and forgot to put on, so my feet got all scuffed up. Which is, I bet that's where those bruises came from on my legs. Mm. I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, but I swam in the ocean for a while. Did, I mean, how long was I down there? Mm, I'd say an hour, maybe. Yeah, I had a really good time swimming there, just sitting in the sand, looking at it, and then we come back. I came back up onto the beach and laid in a chair, and that was my probably favorite part when we were laying there. I had a few moments of just like, wow, this is like paradise. Yeah, beautiful woman, beautiful ship, beautiful uh, yeah, scenery, beautiful beach. Laying there beside the of you, the wind was blowing, You could, the palm trees were swaying right beside us. We were in the shade. It was incredible. That was probably one of my favorite moments of the whole trip. Was But... We had it all to ourselves. We were the only boat there at that time. And from all the videos I've watched and all the people that I talked to on the cruise, that is very unusual. Usually that uh, Princess K or Key has multiple ships. Has multiple ships. You know, it's Carnival, so it like has like four ships at a time, you know, or more. And so yeah. if you put that many people on that island, that would be a miserable experience. And I didn't even walk over to the other side where you went to. I was... No, the other side is what I would describe as a miserable experience. And you'll see the footage. It's just crowded and just lines and everything. Okay guys, we are back. Sorry the 
phone or the camera rather overheated we were sitting on top of the garage there and the sun was hitting right down on it so we're gonna try to finish where were we Matt? I really don't remember um, something about should we review the tape i think essentially we're saying would we recommend this cruise oh we were getting to the the itinerary so uh, yeah the princess k was my favorite even though it was a tender port which is a hassle uh, i NASA, actually like the tender port aspect because it was less walking go ahead but go ahead uh Nassau. I mean, nothing wrong with Nassau. It's fine. It's just, to me, it's just like a strip mall. Uh, yeah. One side's just clean, the Newport's clean strip mall, and then you cross the fence, and it's just like dirty, dilapidated strip mall. And maybe if you, we went further into, like, the city of Nassau, there's probably interesting, beautiful things to see, but we didn't do it. We really, there's not that much time either to do all that. By the time you get off the boat, and yeah. you get, you know... But anyway, I would go back to Nassau and explore it more. It's not mm -hmm. that I hated it. It was fine. It just was kind of touristy, I guess is what they would say. Yeah. Uh, definitely would go back to Princess K, even though it's a tender port. Uh, beautiful. Uh, lots to do there. Mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoyed getting the grilled burgers on the island. I don't know about that something food was about good, it. Yeah. It was good food. And it just something about eating on the beach. Yeah, like cook out on the beach. Yeah, cook yeah. out on the beach is fun. That was uh, fun. So I would do both of them again. I would too. I want to talk a little bit about accessibility. I found the ship to be pretty accessible. The rooms, they do have accessible rooms. One of the people that sat at our table said she books accessible rooms because she needs extra room in the shower and she said the showers are better. Um, I did not get a chance to tour an accessible room. I wish I could have so I could have showed them to you guys. But I was very, I personally have been surprised at the amount of walking you do. It is a long, it's a lot. We've been doing 10,000 plus steps every day, wouldn't you say? Matt's at done. At least 10,000 feet. I'd say I've been doing 10,000. Matt's been doing more than that. Or probably like 20 or 30. Yeah, because he's done a lot more touring than I did. I was, I've been surprised at that. So if you have trouble walking long distances, I recommend you get the scooter, which there were several people using scooters on the ship. Mm -hmm. um, the Bahamas, at uh, Nassau rather, um, when we got off the ship, I intended to walk. And then there was a guy with a golf cart and I just was talking to him. And I was like, so how? Do, what is this? Is this for like a certain ship? And he said, no, it's for anybody. You just have to tip me. It's free. And I was like, okay. So, Which that was nice. Uh, yeah. So I wrote but it then, with you. But, yeah. but for, for, for me... I don't really mind the walk. It's just getting sunburned is what really got me uh, walking like that. Yeah. But I love that. That's my favorite part of that port is that new, all those new docks. And Seeing like you, all the you get ships. to see all those different ships. I just could have just spent my whole trip at Nassau walking around the dock looking and at looking the at the ships. Well, well, here's what I want to say, though, when we were coming back, because I really felt really bad there. I don't know what it I felt really sick when we were walking around there. I couldn't do much. I don't know if it was that pink cloud. I don't know what it was. I don't want to blame anything on it. But I was very sick. And so I was like, I'm going to ride this back. I'm sorry. I told Matt we will walk it back. But I couldn't. And then so I went to where it was and it said disabled people. And then people were really rude and like pushed the old lady out of the way. And I had almost got in an argument with this rude young person. But I had to ride it back at that point because I was so sick. I would have tossed my cookies all over the um, boardwalk. But I think that's a really nice service that, that you can go up and down because that's a very long walk, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but it also depends on where your ship docks because some of the docks are much closer than others. We just happen to be on the furthest one. Um, I would have liked to learn more to figure out that pirate ship thing. I would have loved to ride that. 
but that was in that's not there's a lot of excursions there that are not through the cruise line and this was a very hotbed of like scam artists but on the flip side i'd always heard that you could haggle with these guys and nobody would haggle at all no they would not haggle with us at all but it was interesting it was fun um but back to accessibility the ship was accessible i would say um princess key part of it was accessible the place that we um sat on the quieter side not wheelchair accessible and technically it is wheelchair accessible over on the other side but it is on cobblestones and but they do have the sand chairs that you the sand wheelchairs that you can rent to if to, but you would need some muscles to get out there um so it may not be the best stop, honestly, if you are in a wheelchair and completely unable to walk. But now if you're in a wheelchair and you can walk a short distance, that might be a good, you may be able to stop there and get off the ship. Um, another thing that we saw frequently in events, in uh, shows, comedy shows, the um, rock shows, etc., the staff would have a markation this is for a disabled person and their companion there would be a like a sign on the seat and people would just come in throw those signs off into the floor and sit down clearly not disabled people dr young drunk people so that was shocking to me that people would have the audacity to do that. Well, I don't know if they were drunk. It could be they had alcohol drinks. Of anything. Well, yeah. But they were seemingly inebriated. Um, but that just, that was like, that disgusted me as a disability professional. That was disgusting to me to watch people do that. Um, but otherwise, I think you could definitely do something like this in a wheelchair, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, like anything else, it's going to be a lot harder, but you you could definitely do it. I saw a lot of people in wheelchairs. And on scooters or jazzies, whatever you want to call them. There yeah. was like four different people I saw using those. It would be tough, but it would be doable. You know, we, uh, we and, showed in the bathroom. They have bathrooms there in the public places, Yeah, uh, some places. And, but if you can't walk a long distance, get you need it. You're not going to be able to make it, you know? Yeah, because this is, I guess, technically considered a smaller ship, uh, mm -hmm. and the ones that are out now are like way bigger, maybe like twice or, or even more than twice the size of this ship. So yeah, you're going to do a lot of walking, you're going to mm -hmm. do a lot of standing in line, uh, Just be, things of that nature. Be prepared for that. Um, but so would you do the ship again? I, I totally would. I love these older ships. Uh, I'll keep going to them. I'm going to try to go. There's a set of ships that's even older than this, the Fantasy class, which is the same class of the one that I went on when it was first launched in uh, 90, 96, I think. Uh, but I'd like to go to those while they still exist. Um, big fan of them big fan of this ship it's uh, been refreshed but it still retains a lot of that character mm -hmm. uh, I don't really like the new ships uh, kind of ties into what I do carnival again yes but all the things I like about carnival and this ship the newer carnival ships oh. do not have and they're slowly taking out all the character to the ships mm -hmm. and all the things that I enjoy about them uh, like the theater, they don't even have theaters, I don't think. Uh, they just have like a lobby thing. And that was my favorite room on the ship was the theater. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll get on these new boats and it'll be, we'll be like, well, now we see what we're dealing with. Because, mm -hmm. like, something that I had, uh, this, I'm kind of getting lost in the weeds here. But anyway, so new, new cruise ships have this new elevator system where you go to a screen and you punch in, I'm going to deck 13 or whatever. Uh, well, not 13. Most boats don't have 13, but 12. deck 12. You punch it in. It'll say, go to car A. Anyway. Car A lights up. You get on that. Because what happens on these elevators is just massive pit crowds just like forcing their way into the elevator it's chaos and so you wouldn't have that because if you did if somebody forced their way onto elevator a it may not go to the floor Where that they're they needing to go, go to and so this lady that we ate dinner with one night at the main dining room she said that she, that it works really well because of that 
Yeah. And so I think that that's it's something that at first I thought was kind of weird and I thought it was stupid, but after being here and seeing like why they would institute that, I kind of get it. Yeah, me too. The elevators were really a hassle because of the other people. Um, I would do this ship again for sure. I, I had fun. There were negatives, but I think there's negatives everywhere. And the I, rocking, I think. I, I don't think some it's... people said it was out of the ordinary, and some people said it was the ordinary. But I'm telling you, in our stateroom, there was times we were you roll out of bed, like you could have rolled me out of the bed. So there's no way that that was ordinary. Um, I just think it was we were going fast to try to beat a storm last night. Is what I think because right as we got in, a storm, a storm hit. So I think they were going faster than usual to try and beat the storm in. That's why it was so rough. That's what but somebody theorized anyway. I do want to review. I have severe motion sickness. I get sick easily. Um, the wristbands totally work. The dra Take Dramamine at night before you go to bed and it will get you through the day. And then the Dramamine brand ginger chews. I will link all three of those things in the description of this video. And I found all three of them to be very helpful. I don't get motion sickness easy, but on the last night when I was trying to complete the ship tour, you may not see any of this footage because I went back this morning and reshot it when we were in port early. I got up really early and shot it. I was so sleepy. Yeah, Stacy's beautiful. I love her because she's beautiful and many other things about her. Her personality is beautiful and she is beautiful. And the flip side, she needs a lot of beauty sleep to maintain <laughs> all of that beauty. I do. But anyway, I don't know. You probably won't see any of this footage, but I'm just like, when I'm on the 14th floor, I wouldn't I'm even just go. like hanging on, trying to, because they had closed those floors. They had a sign that I didn't even notice that said, and I was like, why is nobody else up here? He's but crazy for even going up there. I stayed she on the 11th floor. There. I just sat on the 11th floor, hugged onto the rail, watching the water. And he was like, I'm going to go up to two more flights of stairs. I wasn't climbing up those stairs. I was swaying all over the place, just on the deck of the panorama. No, I was like, I'm not going up there. And so I reshot it because it, it was pretty crazy. It was just like me, like, you know, just barely hanging on. Yeah, he's crazy for even going up there. Because even, was it the first night or the second night when we went on the secret deck and it about blow us away? That was scary. So, no, 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 no. Oh, you're no. talking about the thing out front of our room? Yeah. Yeah. Which I highly recommend that book in those f forward facing rooms. People say don't do it because you get sick. I'm it's very sensitive to sea sickness. It wasn't that much worse. Take Dramamine at night before you go to sleep so that then you the, the drowsiness has worn off by the morning, but you still have the anti nausea effect in your system. And I enjoyed it. And yet, that's another thing that I enjoyed about this ship that they're taking out of the new ships is that little space in front of the, the room the for ship. taking that out. Well, the ships, they're taking that out. Like, they're oh. making it flat there. Or, like, they're making those suites where, like, only the people that, yeah. that can. But this is a public area that's in front of the room that we had that, you know, is basically like a public balcony at the front of the but ship. But there's only, we only really saw a couple people ever on it. So, most people don't ever go up there. So, it's like having your own private deck, honestly. You occasionally see the crew up there. Yeah, but we went out there every single day and watched the water and looked around. It's just like having your own private deck. It was great. I love yeah, those I old recommend ships. it. I'd do it again. However, I'm, we'll probably won't do this one for a while because we're trying to go to every brand, mm -hmm. see which brand we like, compare, contrast. And try different types of ships. Yeah, The new, older old. ones, the new ones. I don't know about these just mega monster ones, but we'll see. We're going to... Yeah, I don't get it, but maybe we will. Yeah, maybe we we'll like one. it. So we're going to try, because I this was a test run for cruising. Stamp of approval. I like it. Definitely would cruise on Carnival again. Definitely would cruise on this ship again. Definitely would go back to the destinations again. Uh, We're cruising. We're going to more cruises. The Edgar said, was this your first cruise? And everyone, if you, we raised our hand, he said, welcome to your new addiction. I think it's true. It was fun. It was fun. And we're glad we could take you all along. Yeah. It'll take me a while to make these videos. I'm really, I'm, I'm backlogged. I've got a lot of stuff I need to get out. 
but we're gonna try to release these this will be the last one in the series probably the carnival glory series we appreciate the ship to her i might you think you'll do it last well this will be last or second to, to last the ship yeah tour. but we wanted to just say we appreciate you all coming along with us on this new adventure that we've gone on um so let us know in the comments did you like this series do you want to see more because i got a feeling you're going to and where do you want us to go what cruise line do you want us to try out and what aspects of cruising or specific cruise lines do you want to learn more about and we will try to put that in our itineraries as we're planning more trips and we're going to try to do a live stream tonight yeah um, um we're going to try to get that going so you guys can um catch up with us tonight yeah we did one the day before or the night before we're going to do one the night after and just uh this one will probably be able to stay on longer our, our marathon yeah. live stream so if you're watching this video now you can go back in our library and catch the live stream that we're going to do tonight so you will be able to see all the questions we're going to like a question and answer session so after this go back in our library and check out that live stream um anything else you want to add before we sign off i think we've covered everything uh oh. so that's the disembark procedure i tried to record as much of it as i can it, it was chaos and miserable uh hot walking screaming people yelling at yeah. you that one we need i need to do some research about other ways so that's i don't know that was the worst part of the whole thing anything else um, I think we've covered it all I think we've covered it all I don't know all I, right. I guess that's it I'm just uh, finally back on land get my land, land legs. legs and finally we ran out of soda uh, yesterday and Matt is a diet soda and I'm I'm just like finally getting my first bit of soda and uh, oh one thing I want to say I drink tons of sparkling water. You guys see that? You know that? They had the best sparkling water on this ship. It's called San Benedetto. We looked it up. I don't think you can buy it anywhere in the U.S. apparently. But it was the best. And even Matt liked it. Yeah. Even I liked it. And I think they taste like garbage usually. Yeah. So that's a pro tip. If you drink sparkling water, Carnival ships have got a killer type of sparkling water. San Benedetto. All right, we love you guys. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much for coming with us on this travel. Um, stay tuned for more fun adventures that we have coming up in the future. We appreciate everything you do. Like this video if you liked it. And if you have not already, subscribe. What are you waiting for? It's time to subscribe. Um, thank you guys. We love you. We appreciate you. And most importantly, we hope that God blesses you and your life every day in every way. Thank you for everything. Bye.